Guys, I'm finally doing a review of the IMAX B6 AC I bought a while back. I've used it quite a bit, and let's just do this. Boo, boo, bada, boo, boo. Okay, I bought this thing off Amazon.com for around 63 bucks, shipping included. It came in, and I was excited because I wanted to be able to charge batteries, you know? Uh, I, my e-bike battery with these two, it's like a two-module pack of 18650s, 7 in series, 7 in parallel. I had no way to charge it, and so now I can in a very complex way with this IMAX B6 AC. Hmm. Also, though, I can track data with this thing, and that is the true reason I bought it. I was watching this channel of Richard Lloyd, and that dude is on point with his testing of batteries and stuff. So when I grow up, I want to be just like him. What, what did mine come with? Let's do an unbox. Okay, there's the charger itself, the AC power cord, the DC power cord if you want to like hook it up to a battery. That's a power source. That's kind of cool. The input's 11 to 18 volts. Yeah, and uh, some battery connection cables. I don't know the names of all the types, uh, but there is an XT60 connector and a couple others. Yeah, you can see them here Now let's do some pros and cons pro it doesn't need an external power supply nice Con the built-in power supply and other components cause this thing to heat up quite a bit when it's under full load charging An added con to that is there's no built-in fan. So if uh, you've got a fan like this Like I, I did a review for that at the eye in the corner of the screen uh, you can keep the thing cool, but um, yeah, it gets hot Pro, options. You have lots of options. You can choose from different battery chemistries and set different voltages and things. And that's that's a cool pro. But w what's even cooler is it balances them. And that's required for many remote-controlled uh, car and uh, drone batteries. Duh, you're probably watching this because that's what you've got. Pro, you do not need a separate balance adapter which is kind of cool. All the balance leads from 2S all the way to 6S are built right into the side of the charger. So that's really convenient compared to some other chargers. Pro, you can connect it to a computer and use the software to control the charger, which that leads me to two cons. So con con. <laughs> Using the buttons on the device itself to set the charge is not intuitive. The four chrome buttons require a lot of like, well, require a bit of a learning curve and it, it takes some getting used to. And the software that I mentioned, it, it is really cool and I've never had a problem setting up a charge with it, like starting it. I've always been able to plug in the charger to my computer, get the settings dialed in and just start a charge. But the software has crashed on me mid-charge, enough for me to complain about it. This does not affect the charge itself. The charge will continue on and complete as it should. But if you're like me and you want to use that data the software provides, uh, then you're out of luck sometimes when it crashes. Maybe they've fixed that by now, but I I'm not sure. That data is in the form of charts that the software spits out, and uh, yeah, you can get them at the end of the charge. Examples are here, you can see, like uh, capacity chart, uh, amperage chart, and voltage. Pro, temp sensor input. You can, yep, if you got one of those, yes. Pro, rubber feet. Mm, pro, aluminum body with cooling louver-like things. Uh, pro, super loud beep. Wait, wait a minute, that's probably a con. Pro, display, it's bright and it's easy to read. Pro, the manufacturer has this verification process. So when you buy the thing, you can go to their website and verify that it's an actual thing they made and not like a fake one. So yeah, unless you buy a fake one and then it lets you know. Anyway, you can see me doing that here. Uh, and once I, I verified the first time, I tried again. It was like, hey, we've already done this. You know, so if someone like reuses the code, uh, they keep track of that. Con, if you have a battery other than 1S, you need to have a balanced lead connected to charge it. For example, I made this custom uh, three in series, two in parallel battery. You cannot just hook it up with the XT60 plug and then do like a, a just start the charge. You have to have the balanced leads connected, uh, yeah, in order to do that. This does not matter what setting I choose, including fast charge. So, yeah. I don't know. Some people have said you can just use fast charge and it doesn't matter if it, uh, I can't get that to happen. So not that big of a deal, but a con nonetheless. That also only applies to lithium batteries as far as I can tell. Like uh, the lead acid battery, 12 volt, which is, what is it, like six cells in it. It doesn't require you to have a balanced thing hooked up. Congrats. You survived the PC list.
So I've used this thing quite a bit and I will link some of my battery test videos in the description below where I test some like tool batteries for capacity, some batteries from Walmart. Uh, and I'm also finishing up on some 18650 batteries that a company sent me for testing uh, and like to display on my channel. And they're specifically for vaping. So I don't know if you're into that, go check that out. Uh, that video will be linked once it's made as well. Is it good or is it bad? You decide after I decide. Overall, this charger is good. If you're in the market, I highly recommend looking at this one. Um, the only real downside that I come across is that like crashing software and then the temperature of the thing overall, it gets hot, so you need a fan. Uh, others have said it's a downside uh, that the overall like wattage is 50 watts, so I guess it takes a while to charge larger batteries. I don't care because I've got the time, but yeah, if you want to charge your batteries fast, this might not do that. Uh, those things, yeah, those things don't matter to me so much, so uh, that's it. I hope that helped. See you later, internet.